Black Swan event. How heavy are we in Brazil? Jim Morrison at the end. What would you do to hedge your portfolio in an emergency? A few of the moves I'm already making. Here's what Taylor Mason did. Buying long-dated VIX calls. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Thanks for coming. You've read all our stuff. And the VIX appears again later in the show. How we avoided the XIV liquidation by selling our VIX positions two weeks before everybody else did. When a complex financial instrument appears twice in a TV show, you know it's become part of the financial landscape. You guys have asked to learn more about it. To really understand the VIX or volatility index and its use cases today, we're going to move back at the history of volatility in financial markets. Starting in the 50s, when maths entered the financial world. In 1952, Markowitz, a future Nobel Prize winner, introduces volatility as a proxy of risk in his modern portfolio theory. It's realized or historical volatility, something we can measure. It's the degree of variation of the price over time. We take this for granted today, but volatility is not risk. If the price goes up fast, like Tesla in October, it's volatile, but not risky. It's great. That proxy is, however, a cornerstone of modern finance. Then in the 70s, theory became applicable in practice with the Black-Scholes-Merton model, which we often call the Black and Scholes model. Sorry, Merton. In 73, three academics introduced a way to price options with a formula based on volatility. It's derived from Brownian motion, which is used for particle physics. But it's no longer the realized volatility. Instead, it is implied volatility. Volatility that's looking into the future. The model is a perfect blend of theory and practice, and it's still widely used today. It triggered the boom in option trading and derivatives. Then in 1992, volatility becomes visible with the VIX. Implied volatility is very useful to investors. It gives them a way to assess the market environment. Yet it was impossible to follow until the introduction of the VIX by the Chicago Board of Options Exchange, the CBOE. And that's the index that the media refers to all the time. Expert in the CBOE volatility index, that's the VIX for short, which we then always explain as the fear gauge, because it tends to rise whenever investors are freaking out. And that's exactly what happened last week. It's very popular, yet it is just a calculation derived from the price of listed options. You can't do anything with it except watch it. So why would people want to trade the VIX? The reason is intuitive if you look at this chart. When the S&P drops, the VIX goes up. So the principle of having decorrelated assets is a fundamental proposition of modern portfolio theory, where you say, I pick two decorrelated assets, I, I build an efficient frontier, and my portfolio sharp ratio will increase. So looking for hedges, looking for ways to diversify your portfolio is, is something very fundamental in the principles of portfolio investment. But you'll have to wait until 2004 for the VIX to become tradable with futures and options. It's billionaire Mark Cuban who asked Goldman to trade the VIX in order to hedge his fortune. The team at Goldman modified the VIX formula to create a tradable futures contract. And over the years, it's become a tremendous success. And that's the reason why Taylor could buy their long-term calls on the VIX. Our newly redeployed funds are affected in dozens of different ways. But would that actually be a good hedge? Let's take the example of November 2021. There was a sharp correction in the S&P 500. As expected, the VIX went from roughly 18 to over 30, so a move of almost 100% up. So if you could hold 10% of that in your equity portfolio, that would be a great hedge. But you can't. What you can do if you're hedge fund, for example, is buy long dated calls like Taylor's. And I couldn't find the historical pr call prices, but I see the long term futures went from 25 to 27. And that's the first challenge of the VIX derivative. You're trading the futures, not the spot, and they don't move in the same way. The second challenge is what you will typically find is that the future curve of the VIX is in contango i.e. the shorter dated are trading below the longer dated ones. You're buying high and you're selling low. You're selling low the front month future and you're buying high the second month future. Anyway, that didn't stop Wall Street from building products available to a larger public. And in 2009, the first VIX exchange traded notes appeared. Everyone could trade the underlying as simply as funds and shares with products 
that became well known, such as the VXX. Again, it doesn't trade the spot. That's a very important difference that you can see in the performance. Now I'm showing the splits here because it has done five reverse splits since inception to keep that price from bleeding down to zero because that's exactly where it goes. But on a split adjusted basis, it launched at a price of over $102,000. And as of making this video now, it is below $17, down 99.9% .9 since inception. So, so if it goes down like all the this, time, why not short it? So, so you then could argue that the contango of the VIX lends itself perfectly to an inverse leveraged ETF. And that's the strategy Axel Rod is referring to. How we avoided the XIV liquidation by selling our VIX positions two weeks before everybody else did. On the VIX, this ETF existed, which was the XIV. And the problem with this inverse leverage is everything is fine until the contango collapses. The VIX exploded, the front front future moved significantly faster than the second one. And this is actually not an isolated case. I also participated in the launch and quick closure of a volatility related product in my time. The VIX is very tempting on the surface for an equity investor looking for a hedge but you can hold it in the long run, long or short. It's an instrument that you can only trade, but you can't invest in. If you want to invest in the long run, though, you can try Wealthyhood. It's a smart, personalized and commission free way to become your own wealth manager. It makes investing easier and fun. You can try it out for free with virtual money first by following this link and experimenting for yourself. Now, if you want to trade the VIX, I've got the feeling that those that trade it professionally are only trading the curve itself more than the direction of a specific future, but I'm really not an expert. So remember, seek education and diversity and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.